a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Momentum ETFs is what we're going to hear about this time around with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra, who joins me now. And so I'm just going to take a wild guess here. Momentum ETFs are ETFs that have momentum stocks in them. Exactly. And momentum stocks have been doing really well of late because indexes are surging to their new highs, mm -hmm. you know, thanks to booming economy, rising corporate power profits, tax cuts, so everything looks good for stocks. And there have been uh, some progress, there has been some progress uh, in you know, trade-related talks, sure. so those issues could get resolved, so that has also been very positive for the stock market. Uh, and so investors love putting money in the hottest stocks. Mm. They chase hottest stocks. Sure. And that is why these momentum stocks do well even though the popular finance theory random walk uh, says that past performance cannot be <laughs> indicate a predictor, indicated future returns of, yeah but uh, in fact history shows that the very recent past performance can be a good predictor in most ca cases of short term price performance not mm. longer term in the short term those recent winners can continue to do well just because investors love putting money in the winning stocks sure everyone loves winners oh yeah i mean nobody likes a loser that's yes, for sure exactly so that is the reason why these momentum etfs which as you said hold high momentum stocks have been doing pretty well this year mm -hmm. and we'll take a look at the three most popular ones Let's do that. So the first one is the iShares MSCI USA Momentum Factor ETF. The ticker is MTUM, M-T-U-M. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the most popular momentum ETF. Uh, it holds uh, large and mid-cap stocks which are showing high price momentum, pretty popular, uh, with more than 10 billion in assets under management, and it is very cheap to charge just 15 basis points in expenses, and it is up more than 15% this year. Now, if you want to look at further details and learn more about the CTF, you can go to the code page for the ticker MTAM on zax.com. You can read the articles, and you can also visit the external homepage using the link on the code page. So if you go to the external homepage, the iShares website for this ETF, uh, you can take a look at the portfolio and its holdings. So you, you will not be surprised that Amazon is the top holding. Mm. It just crossed $2,000 mm -hmm. today. It has been doing so well uh, for the past couple of years um, and uh, in the in the past month or so as well Microsoft is the second top holding and uh, other holdings also are you know they will not surprise you Visa MasterCard Boeing which was earlier struggling uh, but now it has been doing pretty well because of the resolution in trade talks similarly we know that technology continues to be the best performing sector and that is why a lot of money, about more than uh, you know, 41% of assets are invested in information technology. Consumer discretionary, another winning sector this year, uh, holds about 20% of the weight. Financials and industrials, which also have been doing well for the past month or so, they are third and fourth in terms of sector allocation. Okay, then next would be the First Trust Dorsey Right Focus 5 ETF. Yes, the ticker <laughs> is FV. Uh, it is actually a fund of funds, an ETF which holds ETFs. Oh, wow. It holds five ETFs. That's ET not complicated, is it? <laughs> <laughs> not too much. So it holds five uh, ETFs issued by the same sponsor for stress, mm -hmm. these ETFs which are showing uh, the best relative price momentum. Mm -hmm. It is a bit expensive. Uh, it charges 89 basis points, and that is because it invests in 
ETFs, uh, but has been pretty popular with investors, has uh, about 2.9 billion in assets under management, and this one is up about 14 percent year to date. And uh, again, going to the code page on zax.com, you can go to the external home page and take a look at uh, other details as well as its holdings. And again, holdings will not surprise you at all. These are the recent winners, the internet ETF, the technology ETF, industrials ETF, another technology ETF, and a bank ETF. Okay. And bank ETF, as I mentioned, has been doing well off late in the past month or so. Finally, PowerShare's DWA Momentum Portfolio. Yes, so this sticker is PDP, and this also uses the same Dorsey Wright methodology, an index issued by Dorsey Wright to uh, track recent winners. It holds about 100 stocks uh, which have been doing well. Uh, recently. Uh, this has about 1.63 billion in assets under management and this charges 63 basis points for fees. Mm -hmm. Now again if you want to look at details you, go, you could go to the external home page of Invesco using the link on zax.com and you can look at portfolio holdings and other uh, details for the ETF, uh, again, information technology accounts for about 30% of the weight, consumer discretionary about 24%, industrials and healthcare are third and fourth sector in terms of sector allocation. Uh, now, if you look at the holdings, uh, Apple, O'Reilly, Auto Automotive, uh, Domino's, Pizza, uh, these are the top three holdings, slightly different from the first one uh, because of the slight difference in methodology. Now, So let's see how they all stack up. Yes. Uh, so on this chart, I have the year-to-date performance of these three ETFs that we discussed uh, versus the broad market ETF, the S&P 500 ETF. So you can see that uh, the, uh, the PowerShares product is the best performer uh, with the 16% return uh, this year, which is almost double of S&P 500's mm. return. The other two have also done pretty well, returning between 14 and 15 percent year to date. And do you own any of them? I do not. All right, thanks for that. Don't forget, more ETF information is in the ETF section of Zax.com. Go to the home page, use the Funds tab in the top toolbar. It'll help get you to that section of our website. And also don't forget that ETF Spotlight Podcast. That's done by Nina. And you can find that on the podcast page of Zax.com. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.